Hello fellow trains people, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another Railroads Online video and today I am going to be continuing my railroad. Now in the last episode I built this whole system here where, you know, I wanted to deliver my cordwood and also have a switch to the other line which is going to be going to the iron mine. Now, some of you guys call this probably the stupidest thing that I've ever built, which, you know what, a little bit harsh. A little bit harsh, not gonna lie, hurt my feelings just a little bit, but I do think uh, that this could be improved and I know exactly how to do that. The only reason that I built this the way that I did is because I thought that my track is going to be ending here uh, due to this random pile of whatever the heck. Now, I was actually talking to Dapper and Dapper brought up a good point. If you build groundwork that is just above this mound, you can actually build groundwork through it and have your railroad be at the level of the platform here. So that is exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just letting you guys know that I am going to fix this up uh, in due time. But I think uh, today we're going to actually continue our railroad to the iron mine. I think what's gonna need to happen is we're gonna need to go forward here and then loop right, go next to the waterfall, which I'm really excited about, and uh, keep building to the iron mine. So, without further ado, guys, I am going to start extending my railroad over here and hope that I can actually somehow make it over my railroad uh, that is, you know, leading to the other side of the smelter here. I think we can use some bridges, so let's give it a go. It looks like we might have to park the train on a bit of a slope, but whatever, that's okay. And here we're going to switch to a steel trussle bridge. Perfect. And we are, I think, going to have to go with a fairly steep gradient. But for now, I think we'll try and do like three. Uh, three percent, rather. Nice! It actually goes over it. That's awesome. I am happy with that. Sweet. I think now we can actually start maybe curving it. So I'm actually going to uh, let that get built and I'm going to go and run on top of it and see where we're kind of ending up here. Because if I do have more room, I think what I'm going to want to do is maybe leave a little more flat track uh, over here. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. I know I'm already going to get comments saying that I'm parking my train on a hill and it's not realistic. And I know, but you know what? It's all good. Actually, this is not that bad. It's actually not that bad. I, yeah, you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's go and take a look at where we're ending up here. Not gonna chop any trees down just yet, simply because I don't know if this is the path that I'm going to take. Oh boy, oh man. I think I might actually be able to build this a little bit more flat. And there's our railroad underneath. <laughs> Looks so cool, man. Okay, so we might be able to go flat for a little bit longer over there. Where's the waterfall? The waterfall is all the way over there. Okay, okay, that's fine. I think my height is actually pretty decent. I might go a little bit higher. But I can also hug that mountain more, I think. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I am going to delete this because I want to make the part that meets up to the smelter a little bit more flat. And then we're going to replicate this and keep building. So I'm not going to bore you guys with rebuilding this. I'll just see you when it's all rebuilt and we can keep going. Yo, this is cool. You can't accidentally delete stuff now. So you can actually filter the stuff that you demolish. That is really cool. I'm, I'm really pumped about that. Alrighty guys, back on our bridge here, I will show you what the beginning looks like afterwards, but uh, we're going to keep building towards the waterfall here. The waterfall is our next destination, I really want to go by the waterfall because it just looks beautiful and I think it'd be a really cool spot to uh, go past every time I go to the iron mine. Uh, and then, well, once we're there, we'll, we'll keep going to the iron mine, so let's do it. I really wish I could like work on the bridge while building it. It's really tough to be on the ground and kind of, you know, try and figure out where I'm supposed to be going with this thing. But that's okay. I guess that's part of the fun. Let's drop back down here and keep going. I'm gonna rebuild this because I realized I actually have a lot of space. So I don't have to go at a five degree gradient. I can literally just go at three and still make it there um, just fine and not have to strain my trains out. I already have a very steep gradient, you know, at the smelter. So whatever makes it easier for the train from here on out, I think I'll try and, uh, you know, accommodate. Here we go, round two. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, looking pretty good so far, but I think we need to actually loop left a little bit sooner. So let's do that. It's so hard building blind, like I have no clue if I'm headed in the right direction right now. <laughs> Well, we made it. <laughs> we made it to the beautiful waterfall. Now, I wonder if we are tall enough, but I guess we'll uh, we'll find that out soon enough. Now I need to know if like I'm headed in the right direction again towards the smelter, you know? Oh boy. I think I'm going to uh, temporarily finish the build here so I can run up and sort of, you know, take a look at where I am. This is cool, man. <laughs> Love it. I wish I came out a little bit higher and maybe closer to the waterfall, but you know what? This probably makes more sense anyway, in terms of like realism. Okay, so now I have to go to the smelter and I want to figure out uh, what the most optimal path to get there is. So let's just run along, uh, do a bit of scouting and, you know, see, see if there's any good solutions here. And there's our beautiful river down there. Excellent. Man, this is going to be a long way. So it seems like there is a very handy mountainside pass that we might be able to use. I just need to kind of figure out where we're going to pop out, you know? Ah, I feel like I should just start building. It's such a long way. Let's just start building. We'll figure it out. We'll, we're going to have quite a bit of a distance to make any sort of corrections if we need to. So... I think I'm just gonna start building. Wish this guy ran faster, jeez. So slow. But I do think I want to follow this uh, this little path that they conveniently placed for us here on this map. It, it is clearly, I think, meant to be used for uh, building a railroad track through, but hey, fine by me. Oh, there's so much logging to do as well. <laughs> Let's hop onto our track and keep building. Alrighty guys, I think we made it to the plateau where the mountain pass starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of logging here in a time lapse because it's driving me absolutely crazy. And then we're going to run back along the track to this point and, uh, you know, see what it looks like and keep going. We're gonna keep going. We gotta keep going, man. It's just Cosmo chopping some trees. Chopping some trees is just Cosmo. All right, well, these trees aren't cooperating, so I guess I'm going to cut them down from the ground later. But for now, let's, uh, let's just run all the way to where we finished off and keep going. Look at this, guys. This is great. Nice three degree gradient, nothing too steep. Even Betsy is going to make it up this just fine. So I'm really excited. I'm really glad I was able to do it with a low gradient. I, I really hate looking at stuff that's like extremely sharp angled. It just looks really bad, in my opinion. Like five, six percent starts looking kind of goofy. To me at least. Alrighty, so now that we're here, we can actually just start maybe doing some regular groundwork. Uh, maybe we'll do the stone wall. I kind of like that. Let's do the stone wall. Built along this one section of the mountain. Uh, I guess, well, I feel like I should just log. I'm gonna quickly log these things out. They're so annoying. Gosh, trees are so annoying. Providing oxygen for us, providing shade for me in the summer. God. Providing homes for all these creatures. How dare they? Alrighty, here we are. Everything is, uh, well, I think most of the stuff has been logged. So now we can keep going. <laughs> My favorite part of all this, keep going. Now, in retrospect, I think this might have been cooler if I had just used regular groundwork simply because, uh, you know, it looks a little more natural. This doesn't need to be this fancy in the middle of nowhere. Uh, however, I really like the look of this groundwork, so I figured I'd use it on something. I just keep forgetting about it. You know, I keep using the basic groundwork all the time. Because I'm a basic 
And here we are. Let's keep going. Now, I'm almost certain that this pass actually continues on the other side of this, uh, what do you call this? Dip? Valley? Treacherous slope? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I'm pretty sure it does continue on the other side. So what we're gonna do is just build another metal trussle bridge. There we go. Just all the way across. And, uh, and keep building there. And sure enough, it pops out right here. Perfect. Get rid of this nonsense, or not. And now we can keep building our groundwork. And I ran into a problem. Problem is that this thing is basically 10 degrees up. That's, that's kind of gnarly, guys. Sorry, 10%. 10% gradient. Way too much, in my opinion. Oh, jeez, what do we do? What do we do? I feel like there's only one thing to do, guys. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. We're just not gonna be able to stop there, which hopefully we don't have to anyway. But going up, we're gonna have to be very, very creative uh, with our momentum. Yeah, it gets really gnarly here for a little bit. Holy moly. Jeez. Really? Okay. This is insane. There you go, we're finally starting to even back out. How are we doing here? Is it all... Oh my goodness, it's like all covered. It's okay, it's gonna be that one part of the track that's like, you know, treacherous and you gotta be very careful and... Yeah, trying to find the positive in this, guys. <laughs> Luckily, that was a very short stretch of it, so... Hopefully, we'll be just fine. I wonder what this looks like on the other side. I feel like this groundwork looks terrible on this side. Oh no, that's perfect. Cool. All right, I'm game. All righty, we've evened out the groundwork. I think I'm actually a little too tall. Let's uh, let's bring it back down here. Kind of worried about that 10% uh, gradient section. Not gonna lie, guys, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it performs, or rather how the train performs on it. I really hope this, like, takes me to the iron mine, you know? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm building in the general direction, but other than that, I'm just sort of guessing. Oh, here we go. 7%. Getting getting a little bit more steep again. Oh, just, just that one section, I suppose. I really hope this goes in the right place. You know what they say, hope for the best, be prepared for the worst. And another bridge section, baby. Alright, alright. Alright, well, let's do a little choppy choppy here, guys, before we keep going. This is taking so long to build, and yet by train it's gonna be like, oh, two minutes and you're there. <laughs> it's gonna feel very rewarding to take the train on this afterwards. Man, this one 10% section, though. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> it's all overgrown, too, because I literally couldn't go over 10%. Okay, time to run back. Ah, hey, watch out. Alrighty, back here, and I think... I think I need to build another bridge, guys. Whoa, we're actually pretty close. I thought we were only, like, halfway. This is awesome. Cool, Iron Ore Mine is, uh, I guess, not that far. Is that it over there? I feel like I see a building, but I'm not sure. Okay, so as I did with the other one, I'm going to quickly scout the bridge uh, location and we'll go from there. I've got a vague idea of where I'm going, so let's get to it. Feels so strange building, like, from the bottom of the ground when I need to be looking up, you know? Oh boy, okay, we made it. <laughs> we made it, and I messed that up quite a bit. See what I mean? See what I mean? Like, how am I- like, how am I supposed to know where I'm going? Ridiculous. Redo. Alright, let's see if that's better. You know what, guys? I can live with it. I can live with it. Wait, is that a building up here? Yo, we made it! We actually made it! Haha! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, sir! Sheesh, bruh! Sheesh! Yes, sir! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> let's not get too excited. I still gotta build a track all the way back, and uh, I still have to finish this up, so let's let's do that. I'm so excited that I actually made it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this blows my mind. I thought I was a ways away. Gonna get some of this logging done, and then I guess start building the railroad back. I'm so excited. All right, all right, all right. 
I got a bunch of logging done. I hope you guys are ready for the trip back, because I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going to start building the railroad all the way back, and uh, we're, we're going to have some fun. I'm really excited to drive my train on this afterwards. Now here's the bummer. I have yet to rebuild my track at the smelter because I have no way of actually getting my train onto this track that's going to be here. But you know what? That's future Cosmo problems. I just realized I haven't saved my game even once. Like to live dangerously. Yo, I got no clue what the heck happened here. We gotta fix this up ASAP. So I kind of fixed it up without, uh, you know, touching too much stuff. And I'm gonna try and take this rail kind of wide. Man, like, like, why am I the way I am? I keep building swervy rails. Gotta stop that. And now we're just gonna take this here carefully, like so. That's not so bad. That's gonna be alright. The groundwork's kind of shoddy, but that's okay. We can always rebuild sections, you know? It's always... It's not always easier to go back and fix stuff, but sometimes... Sometimes it is. Sometimes it just makes more sense than trying to be a perfectionist the first time around. Like, for example, I'm building a new motorcycle right now. Ground up, you know? And I've always been the kind of guy to try and do it all at once. But this one, I'm actually doing it kind of the long way. I'm going to assemble everything first. I'm going to build everything. I'm going to build all my custom parts. I'm going to make sure that everything mechanical is done. I'm going to put it together as if I'm basically finishing the bike. But then, once it's all done, I'm going to take it all apart again. And I'm going to get individual parts, you know, repainted, touched up, and, uh, you know, just basically perfected. Then reassembled again. So it is the longer way to do it, but it is the way that does make more sense and will likely produce better results. As long as we get this track done, we can make small adjustments later. And we just made it through that 10 degree, sorry, 10% gradient section that, oh boy, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm not too close to the mountain and all that because I, you know, I do have some train cars with me. I'm gonna have to cut that tree down for show. Sure. So far, it's looking good though, guys. I'm really excited. My train is somewhere down there. I'm coming, Willis. I'm coming. I don't even know what the heck's going on here, guys. Like, what? Like, what? What? We'll just figure it out later. Groundwork sometimes does some funny things, I tell ya. Ever since they opened up those pubs for groundwork, man, the groundwork's just slacking. Coming to work all skewed. Man, this view is never going to get old. Gotta make sure to get all the trees afterwards. Great. It's really gonna be a huge bummer if I can't get some of these trees out of here. I mean, I'm, I'm clicking and it's not being cut down. Whoa, this guy yeeted. <laughs> Thanks, tree. Alrighty, the track has officially made it to the smelter. <laughs> Super exciting stuff, guys. Super exciting stuff. Now, I do have to go and delete a bunch of trees right now, so... I hate myself. Alrighty, back in business. <laughs> that was horrible. I hate deleting stuff like that accidentally. Okay, there we go. Uh, I really don't want to rebuild my whole track here right now. It's gonna be really simple, but I just don't want to do it, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, let's, uh, let's continue this track a little bit further, uh, in case I do just want to drive my train on this track and fix the other one up later. 
Also, I think we might be too far away from the iron ore. That looks good to me. Perfect. And now I gotta cut more trees down, guys, because they're they're in the way. They're very much so in the way. Okie dokie. Well, guys, to my knowledge, uh, whatever little of that there is, I think my track is clear of trees now. And I want to do a test. I want to actually make sure that there's no, you know, snag ups on it. So I'm going to try and re-rail my train onto this track. And I figured in this video, we can just, you know, run the track once, get to the iron ore, uh, mine, make sure the track works, and then in the next video, I can rebuild this whole section very, very quickly at the beginning, and then we can do, uh, you know, an iron ore mine run uh, with maybe some wood or whatever else that, you know, that place may need. So, let's try and re-rail the train. I don't know if it'll let me, but we'll see. Sweet! It actually lets me do it. Cool! Okay, so Willis is on this track now. I'm going to put some wood into him. Oh, do I have water? Let's check that. I do not have a lot of water. I'm going to fill this guy up with water and, uh, you know, maybe attach some cars to him and we'll get going. Get some water in you there, buddy. Pretty good aim. I don't know. Close enough. Now oh, we're filling up. That's all that matters. Let's try and re-rail some of these cars now. Because I do want to test to make sure that all my track is good for the cars to pass through as well. Um... So, I'm re-railing my cars... And I somehow lost three of them. Sick. That's great. That that's that's so great. I'm so happy about that. Oh man. Why game? Why? Why have you forsaken me? Well, looks like I'm destined back for the depot. I just I'm curious where they went. Like they must be in the world somewhere. Hopefully they're not lagging the world out. Well, guys, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on new cars, so I reloaded the save, uh, had to do a little bit more logging, but that's okay. I think the reason that my cars disappeared is, I think, because I never disconnected them from my train when I re-railed my train. So I'm actually... Uh... <laughs> Whatever, man. This game... <laughs> it, I'm at a point where I'm a little bit tired and this game's antics just, like, no longer surprise me. <laughs> okay, let's re-rail this thing. Oh, jeez. Alrighty, guys. The train is fully re-railed. Uh, you know, a bit of cheating, but that's okay. I just want to test my track out. Uh, I will fix this part up in the next episode, like I said, but for now, I just want to make sure that, you know, this section of the track that I built in this episode is good to go. And uh, let's see if old Willis can actually make it up this hill here. Let me just save first. I think it's a good idea. Because I feel like we're going to fly off the track at least once on some unprecedented snag up. <laughs> Alrighty, full steam ahead. There we go. Whoa, he just started right up. <laughs> I guess 100% regulator will do that. <laughs> I'm new, guys, okay? I'm new. I'm new. And here we go. Off we go. Oh, bit of a tight turn there, but not too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, what did I say about my train flying off the track? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's see if uh, let's see if that happens again if I need to fix something or what are you guys ready to witness the great Yidus again? <laughs> oh Man, this is gonna be gnarly. What is it that it gets snacked up on though if it even does again? It's got to right no. Oh <laughs> Yeet <laughs> Okay, so I need to I need to kind of gauge where that is. Okay, right after the curve, essentially. Oh, jeez. All right, well, let's rebuild it. I think past this thing right here, we just get absolutely yeeted. So, here's what we do in these situations, guys. Hate to do it, but that's what's gotta be done. All righty, let's hope that uh, that stretch takes care of that problem, and let's rebuild that piece of track. All righty, fingers crossed, guys. Let's save. Is my train sliding back? It looked like it was. Oh well. Okay. So, let's give this a try. Please don't yeet. Please don't yeet. Please don't yeet. Whew, we're good. We do need more firewood though. 
and we're off again. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's save. I'm gonna save a lot more frequently because it sucks having to go all the way back. So in case there is any more uh, yeeting events, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. We'll just be able to uh, reload. I don't think so. I think I actually remember double placing something on that piece of track. Or maybe that was another piece of track and we have yet to get yeeted again. But uh, I guess time will tell. So far, not having too much trouble getting up this. I mean, that is a 3% 3, 3 gradient after all. I was gonna say 3 degree. I, I always try to say degree for some reason. 3% gradient. And uh, that's, you know, that's not a whole lot. This thing can handle it just fine. How are cars doing back there? Cars are doing great. Haven't lost any. I cannot wait to do iron ore mine runs, guys. This is going to be beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing. Look at this view. This is an amazing view. That's a thumbnail right there, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, so far so good. Going up this hill. It is going to get a little bit tougher here. Five degrees, I believe. We are slowing down. Let's give it a little more oomph. Perfect. Now, once we have better trains, this is not going to be an issue at all. But, you know, Betsy and Willis, they're old. You know, they're old. They don't have all the power anymore. They're small. They're still doing a great job. Actually, I'm pretty sure Betsy is, like, hecka overpowered. I think she's, like, way more powerful than she's supposed to be. But, hey, whatever. <laughs> okay. Making it around this curve here, and we're about to hit the mountain pass stretch, guys. Oh, look at that view. It's just so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I also can't wait to see how we deal with a 10% uh, gradient up there. I think this is like five still. Give him a little more oomph. Okay, good transition here. You know what? You know what? We're going to do a little, little savey save. If we can get through this with only one screw up, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> I try not to do too much logging because I'm actually kind of broke, but uh, I do wish I did a little more just to open up the view for you guys. Oh man, this mountain pass is awesome. Oh, that's a sharp turn in the tracks there. Are we gonna make it? Oh, it's okay. It looked kind of jagged actually, but it's not that bad. All right, we got a treacherous hill here coming up. Let's 53% regulator. Try and make it an even 50, you know? There you go, even 50. And let's chug our way up. Chugga 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 chugga. Love it. Whistle time. <laughs> I think my render distance or something is uh, is set to low because things are rendering kind of slowly. So far so good, guys. 50%, you know, empty load though. You know, gotta, gotta consider that. Empty load. But hey, even if we have... A train with like two, three iron ore cars that can get up this hill? Fine by me. But I also think once we have the beefier trains, this is going to be less of an issue. Okay, coming over to the first transition here, the first bridge section. Oh, 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 hopefully that tree doesn't get in the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man, that's close. That's close. I gotta be more careful with that stuff. All right, still chugging along at 50. We're about to hit the really crappy area here, guys. This looks so cool, though. I don't know if I have sand. Should I turn sand on? I'm gonna turn sand on, because we might need all the traction we can get here. It's slowing down. More power. We need the momentum. I'm not gonna mess around. Perfect. Oh no, tree, tree, tree. Okay, we're good. We're good. That tree needs to get taken care of though. Okay. I don't even think we have hit the 10% gradient yet, guys. Have we? Did we just go through it? We might have just gone through it. That might have been pretty effortless. I was stressing for like no reason. Oh, 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 got a bit of a funky area here. Got to do so much more logging, guys. It's ridiculous. You think you opened it up and then you take a train through it and the branches are just hitting everything. Don't need a sander on anymore. Kind of left that on for a bit. Oh, there's that second bridge section I see up there. Perfect. And I see our iron ore mine up ahead. Guys, we made it up the 10% gradient, no problem. That was awesome. I mean, granted, we don't have a load, yes, but I think we'll be good. Coming up to our second bridge here, second little valley transition. Guys, smooth as heck so far. Like, you know, except for that first hiccup, which I actually, when I was building, like I said, I knew about it. I knew I might have double placed something, but I also didn't want to stop building because it breaks your, like, it breaks your flow and it breaks your snapping. So I was like, you know what, I'll just keep building. If it screws up, I'll fix it. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Alrighty, coming over the second bridge. Nice. I guess technically the third passing, like the third uh, overpass, you want to call it? Because the first one is the, uh-oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Breaks. 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 Uh, because the first one is actually. Are we okay? Oh, nice. We made it. I'm still gonna get this one though. Yeah, because the first one's the waterfall. Jesus, I can't finish a sentence. Well, it's a good thing I saved. Now, I am pretty sure that this is the way that everybody takes to the iron ore mine. But, you know what, guys? It does seem to make the most sense. So, uh, that is what I did. I'm sure there is another way to do it. But, they literally built a perfect, like, mountain side pass for this type of deal. So, might as well use it. Never actually going to be bringing cordwood to the iron ore mine. But, you know, these are the cars that I had on hand. So, that's... That's what we brought. You know what? Let's get rid of this tree as well since uh, since we're here. I don't want it to yeet my train, so I'm going to stop my train a little sooner. Oh, what? There's a piece of tree sticking out there? Are you kidding me, man? I never noticed that the first time around. Let's go back. We got to fix that. That is not good. See if we can choppy choppy. Choppy choppy. Perfect. Now I'm going to wait for it to disappear because I don't want it to yeet my train. Disappear. There you go. I'm a magician. And up our 10 degree gradient again. Definitely don't want to stop here to uh, cut that tree down though. I don't think I'm restarting. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get you taken care of this time without ruining my train, please. I would much appreciate it. <laughs> Meanwhile, my train's still trying to stop. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Okay. That's it. That's it. Let's save. Rolling into the iron ore mine, guys. Here we are. We finally made it. I actually... It wasn't that bad. I was avoiding doing this for like a, at least a week. I was like, man, this is going to take a lot of work. I mean, granted, it did take me a couple of hours. No, several hours, actually. But uh, definitely worth it. It's so rewarding to drive the tracks that you built in this game. Just so rewarding. I love it. I love it. Let's break. Perfect. And uh, I guess now we get to go back and actually, you know, fix up stuff at the smelter and maybe bring some stuff here. What do we need? We need to bring some lumber. We need to bring some beams. Perfect. So lumber and beams. Perfect. So I guess next episode, we're going to rebuild some stuff at the smelter and deliver some lumber and beams and hopefully pick up some iron ore as well. But for that, I need a car. And for that, I need money. And I don't have a whole lot of money. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts. Uh, it always makes my day, especially the nice ones. Obviously, the not nice ones don't make my day. They make me want to set things on fire. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and if you guys did like the video, uh, definitely click the like button down below. Helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, subscribe for more Trains content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.